So this man should have a much stronger start here. And his impact can be felt a lot faster than these, who's gonna need farm, who's gonna need levels, and the invoker is that kind of year on mid, just a bit slower. Oh, bottom lane, Kaka, he might be dropping rather early. Ulu is gonna make his way in. Kaka it will eat a fairy fire, but has no spells to play with, only has the tree grab, and that'll be first blood to go the way of Asta Ares. Ulu the one to take it on the in fact it was Red Panda who took it. Never mind. Not quite enough damage, even with the level two shadow poison. Kaka gonna be fine. It's not a very easy or fun lane for that pause for Tiny, however. He's certainly struggling, and it's gonna be a little bit tough for Kaka to have that impact he'd want. Almost at three at least. They do find that kill on Ponlo up top with a poking and prodding, and Shrinks just can't help. Like this Marcy is just kind of stuck trying to farm. They can't use the rebound offensively, and it just feels like if you can't like hook up rebound and Malphus, then don't have anything to play in this lane. Oh, Kaka, he's gonna get low bot lane, but more importantly, Sheng Si is really struggling up top now. He went for the creep pool, but against Lich Weaver, you're gonna get punished really easily. Like, the Frost Shield slow is more than enough to just keep him controlled. something on his Ursa instead of just farm. Like, it just doesn't feel like you have anyone that's ready to go. Maybe Sheng Si is ready to go. You know, he, the Marcia already has that armlet up. Chalice. I mean, they're going to try for a big kill on the Death Prophet. Honlo, in the meantime, does end up dropping top lane, but Chalice is in trouble mid lane. And eventually, will go down. So you give up Honlo's life, but you find the DP in the mid lane, and that's a, definitely a bit of a win here for Aster Ares. What a goal to go. Dust is available on Kaka. He does pop it. It is within range in Kaka. He does have the Blink Dagger up as well. So he's in big trouble. Try to make a run. He'll try for the TP. Do they have the damage? Whoa. Not quite. Even with the double damage rune, I thought they would have had enough, but not quite there. Meanwhile, towards the south, X Nova is going to go down. There's your black hole. It's caught out Somnus on the Void Spirit, but the follow up damage, it's going to be there just in time. Ulu picking up a double kill, and that's a pretty big win for Asta Ares. Here comes Go. Pretty nicely. We talked about Ulu a bit. He has caught up in terms of net worth. Looks like the BKB might be flying out now, and they are smoked around that item timing. Oh, we might have a game on our hands, John. Ghost not going to be spotted. Instead, they'll see Kaka on that Tiny. He's been a real menace. We'll try to get started with the Tiny kill. Kaka dropping immediately. A nice start. Ulu now. He'll find X Nova. Earth Shock in. X Nova will try to go for the gaze with the Sun Strike. It's going to fly in right after. Frost Shield slowing down the Ursa a little bit, but not quite enough. There's now Somnus. Going to find Ponlo, but doesn't quite have enough damage to finish off the job. In goes Chalice, but Chalice misses with the Crypt Swarm. Can't finish off Ponlo. He's out of there. Now Chalice will try to use up, try to run, but is going to drop. Uh-oh. In they go for more. Rebound is there on Somnus, but the stun will not connect. Catching RNG a bit off guard. They've been very complacent here in RNG almost, right? Very comfy with how the game is, but they need to respect that Aster Eerie still has a lot of bite left in them. Ponlo? In trouble. Does have Black Hole, but is alone. Probably doesn't want to commit it like this, and this time around will die, but actually picks up his Blink Tagger before he does go down. So now you've got some initiation. Meanwhile, Kaka, speaking of initiation, does go for Ulu, but the BKB is going to be available, so Ulu, he will actually be able to find a trade and all he needs is that BKB charge to be extended. Not too bad at all. Asteris again, John. Doing the trading here is... Seems like there's too much pressure on the top tier two yet. Somnus, he, he will rotate. They're going to try and force a fight. I think the Remnant will connect, but disruption is there. So Kaka can't go for the toss back. Ulu, going to be fine for now. Ghost, he'll even rotate with the black hole. Ponlo, it's going to get cancelled immediately. X Nova, he was having none of it. Gets rid of it. ASAP and Ulu. He's kind of been left alone here, John. He'll go Ooh. for the TP, but Kaka. He smells the bear in the tree line. They leave the Poz one to die. Oh, Asta Ares. That's not a good sign. RNG cleaning up and... Well, sadly for Ponlo, John. Kaka. Closest target for them to aim for, but they won't see him yet. In fact, never mind. Pings are out. They know Kaka's there. Roshan. Tell us very soon when he's going to respawn, but the jump is in. They found the tiny. Chalice. Going to give the the, the the chat again. Something explosive here in Cuckoo. Rather, Kaka does get exploded. 
RNG, they're going to jump in. Somnus, that's a great silence out. On to three targets. Pondlo, oh, looking Pondlo. for a black hole. Where is it? It's Hesitation. Hesitation kicking in, but Ghost, he has been caught out. The Weaver, he's not going to die. They don't have the damage. The Frost Shield keeps him safe. He's fine. Somnus with a triple kill on the face on the Void. And now Ulu will go for a run on the Ursa. Roshan's still down for 50 seconds, so... If that's what they're aiming for, it's not going to be available currently. They might run into RNG, however. Chalice, right by the Weaver, is going to get spotted out here by himself. Will still try and fight, but the bash is there. Kaka is in with an avalanche. BKB's pop, however, means Chalice is going to drop as well. Try to aim down X Nova as well. In the meantime, the Weaver, not being caught either. Yi, he's going to be the one to drop as so will Red Panda. And even this Marcy, X Nova just controlling him the whole time with the Chain Frost. In goes Zulu again. He does pick up one, but it's a GG call. They don't believe they can come back in this game number two. And that'll mean Aster Ares is going to get knocked down to the lower bracket of this TI-11 qualifier for China. And RNG, they will proceed. Yeah, they play a fantastic game on RNG's end. They execute on a pretty great level this time around. Game one, maybe a little bit stompier. Game two.